Hi there, thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to share with you a cute little project, just making a tag. <clears throat> I'm using my new camera, so please bear with me. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a gingerbread man using the flower petal punch. So I've punched the five um, petal flower out, and then I just used my map pack and pokey doodle paper piercer. And I poked two holes to be the buttons on our gingerbread. And those are the glimmer brads. And now I'm going to take the Craft Stampin' White ink pad from Stampin' Up here, tap my sponge on it, and I'm just going to go around the edge and I'm just going to soften the look of our gingerbread boy. And then I'm going to take the white gel pen and I'm going to go around the outside edges to look like the icing. So you can see that there. So now I'm just going to come around here, there we go, wish my real gingerbread looked this good. Okay, so I'll just trace around, get the point here, but I'll just keep going. Sometimes when you're using the white gel pen it likes to um, leave a bit of a gap, or like the ink doesn't fully run out, so sometimes I just kind of go back and forth on the same area, and I find that that solves the problem. And if you go slow, the ink will just kind of come out. There we go. So this would be a really quick way to make a series of gingerbread men. And then I'm going to use the Halloween Flourish. It's in the mini catalog right now. Um, but I've been cutting it apart and using all the pieces, all the little black gems on different projects. So I just snipped these two apart. And you can see there that I've got my eyes, and then we'll just draw our smile. There we go. And so there's our gingerbread boy. And now I'm going to just make my, our tag. So what we've got for the tag is just a piece of the red cardstock, but I'm going to make a little fancy um, ribbon embellishment along the bottom. So to start, I'm going to take kind of like a skirt of ribbon. We're going to make it look flirty. I'm going to wrap. The ribbon around the back and then I'm just going to bring it forward and I'm going to pleat the ribbon and I'm not worried about what it looks like and you'll notice as I'm working that you can tell there's adhesive on the back side of this ribbon and that's just there obviously to hold its position and to make my life a little easier oops and then I'll just just snail so it's going to reposition fairly easily for me and there we go and we'll get our last piece we're going to wrap this around the back and we'll trim off our end there we go okay and then we're going to just take this piece and I know it's retired but I love it the soft suede polka dot ribbon and we're just going to lay this right along the top just to kind of finish off the um, ribbon edge there and we're going to wrap that right around the back there we go and then all of this we're going to use dimensionals is going to get mounted onto just a soft suede piece of cardstock that's the exact same um, or not the exact same sorry it's a quarter of an inch bigger so I think my tag was two and a half inches by three and a quarter the real red and then I just trimmed off the tops here and we'll put this on you can see I did some of the pre-work like punching holes and there we go and we're going to feed the ribbon through here so we'll have this little knotted ribbon and we'll attach our gingerbread boy with some dimensionals of course and I think it needs a festive little button and you've got yourself a super sweet and quick tag that would also look fabulous on the front of a card. So I hope you liked today's project and I'm glad to be back doing videos for you.